So today, I am getting ready to oh girl! And <laughs> I sat there and uh, there was a little bit of trial and error that happened in the process of this, but now it's started really starting to come together. And I wanted to take a moment to share the items that I have used to create this look in case maybe you want to do the same look for Halloween. So to start, I washed my face, of course, that's very important. And then I used a toner. I used Thayer's facial toner after doing a wash. And I usually also do that before applying my moisturizer. Uh, in addition, what I used, and because I'm using a highly pigmented color and so that the pigment doesn't dye my skin and take like a week to come off I use Mehron barrier spray now I did do another first part to this video at first but I'm redoing it I'm gonna tell you why so I never used this particular one before this is spirit cream professional makeup and usually I would use a cake makeup but I was so excited to do this look I just wanted to use whatever I had on hand right so I used this and it really did not come out opaque on my skin it was actually very very light and uh, so this would be good to mix with something perhaps uh, but as for just using this as a green to fully coat your face it did not work out for me although what it did do was it was a good base to use before doing what I did to use what I had on hand. So what do I mean by that? So first of all, I used this NYX brush. I got them when they were on sale for $9 each. It is a 108. Uh, that is the number for this brush. And you see it has nubs here. And I picked it up because it would be great for special effects makeup. But like I said, when I put it on, the color itself just didn't coat opaque for me okay so uh, I used it as a base the color and then I went over it with from the James Charles Morphe palette and this is assuming you're also going to want to use what you have on hand this is the color social blade and then for the eyelid this is the color daddy so these two colors would be what you would use if you wanted to emulate the same she hulk look that i'm using that i'm doing rather but rather than in order to really get a full effect and everything what you'd want to use is like a cream cake makeup and examples of places where you can find that is mac makes a really good one uh makeup forever also makes a good one i have glow up season four playing in the background great show if you've never watched it but anyways um you want to use like a cream cake makeup and i thought that cream makeup would be good but the, i didn't have a cake one i just wanted to use what i had on hand so all this that you're seeing here all morphe eyeshadow on my face <laughs> but it still looks good i'm good with it i am going to be doing some adjustments as we go along but i just wanted to take a moment to share with you what i've used for the brows here is a chanel pencil i did sit there and do all green on my skin and in my eyebrows first before doing the black brow pencil and that's so that it looks like a dark green once it's all put together so that worked out well and then for my nude lip i did put the green underneath as the base and then i did Danessa myrick's vision flush in the color bread and butter and that's how i created this nude with a green coloring to it and then you see the daddy color the darker green on my lids okay now what i'm getting ready to do is line about the waterline of my eyes and i'm going to be using the nyx professional uh in jet black pencil uh i'm going to in addition use a black eyeshadow just to kind of darken underneath that as well and to also kind of set that liner in so that when i take photos it will look good for the blush, what I used was Laura Mercier in Rosé, and so that's what I used to create that subtle pink flush of color that she has on her face. And so that's the blush I used for that. And then I am going to get ready to put some lashes on. And these are actually a sneak peek. These are uh, Kirsty, gonna be Kirsty 20 uh, lashes that I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna be using the Kiss Strip Lash glue adhesive it has aloe in it and it's really good uh you can get it for cheap on amazon i think they're like three dollars each not expensive at all and then for the mascara to tie everything together i'm going to be using essence lash princess the volume mascara and then i have my little 
thingy in case I need it for the lashes. Sometimes I need it, sometimes I don't, but you never know. Uh, and then I also have Makeup Revolution setting powder. This is a trans it's a translucent powder, so that way in case I need it to set for all around here, okay? But this Meron spray, FYI, for the barrier spray, you can also use it as a fixative for setting spray, and it'll help keep everything in as well. For the hair, I wanna show you my hair. I have this wig. These, I have all my wigs and extensions hung in this bag, these bags and in the closet, and the, you can get them in sets of 10. And so this is where I have my hair, you know, for this hair today, I have this black wig that I got on Amazon, and it has like this teal green dip on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to be using for the hair. Now it's not all dark green throughout like it is in She Hulk's hair, but it's what I have on hand and it should work for pictures if nothing else. I'm going to be doing more green up here, more to the hairline is what I'm gonna be doing for adjustments. I do see that there's some patchy areas and I'm gonna try and even those out as well. I'm gonna finish lining the eyes, put on some lashes, and then we're gonna go Hulk out in front of the camera. I did it. <laughs> it's not perfect to the CGI, but I had a fantastic time doing this look. And you know what? That's what it's all about. So now I'm gonna get ready to take some pictures and I'll have them at the end of the video. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that this helped give you some ideas if you decided also that you'd like to be She-Hulk for Halloween. See ya.